Chapter 6 is about inner product spaces. Inner product is a generalization of dark product of Euclidean N space. Two general vector spaces we defined um, in chapter 5. Once we have inner product defined on a vector space, we can think about angle and length and angle of those vectors. Um, usually we have uh, many different bases defined on a vector space. And among those bases, orthonormal bases usually simplifies many calculations. And we have, um, from any given set of bases, given set of vectors which form a basis, we can apply Gram-Schmidt process to get an orthonormal basis. So these things we will discuss today. Now let's define inner product first. Inner product here, we write, uh, we denote it as angle brackets from V cross V to R is a rule that assigns to each pair of vectors a real number. So this is, uh, this is called an inner product if it satisfies the following four axioms. So um, inner product of U and V is the same equals the inner product of V and U. And U inner product of U plus V and Z equals the inner product of U and Z plus inner product of V and Z. And we have KU and V is in the product of KU and V is K times in the product of K and V, U and V, K times in the product of U and V, and in the product of V and V is always positive, and it's zero if and only if vector V itself is zero. So you can find the, you can compare these axioms of an inner product with dot product. So dot product satisfies all these four axioms, therefore, um, dark products on Euclidean N spaces are uh, examples of inner product. So that's our first example here. User dot product on Rn, they form an inner product. Anyway, a vector space with inner product defined on it is called an inner product space, which is our, the title of this chapter. Now, so we, it's so, some sense is. Um, trivial example because dot product is a generalization, inner product is a generalization of dot product, so this is expected. Now let's look at some non-trivial example of inner product. Say, um, suppose we have two vectors, vector u and vector v, with, uh, which is given, which are given like these coordinates, with these coordinates, and define angle bracket of u and v to be W1 times U1 V1 plus W2 times U2 V2 plus Wn times Un Vn. Then this also satisfies all the four axioms of inner product. Therefore, this is an inner product called weighted Euclidean inner product. And especially if each if each Wi is one, then it coincides with user dot product. Now, once we have an uh, inner product, then we can think about length and angle. So let's think about length first. Let's define, in an inner product space, let's define a norm or length of a vector u. So of course, u is an element in a space v, which is an inner product space. So if I do not say anything, that means in the product space in this chapter. Norm of or length of vector u is defined to be the square root of inner product of u and u. So this is definition of length. Now let's define the distance. The distance between two vectors. between u and v. So we denote it as, as usual, this is u and v. This is defined to be the norm of the difference, u minus v. And especially if length of a vector is 1, then u is called a unit vector.
Now we will see some examples with specific numbers.